I just finished making some videos for our spring reboot that's coming up and I am so excited. I love reboots. I love the experience of reboots. We ask people every single reboot, what are you feeling like physically? What are you feeling like emotionally? And people will make lists of what's going on with them. Symptoms, constipation, gas, bloating, fatigue, Ah, instability of mind, sleeplessness, anxiety, acne, all kinds of things. And it's extraordinarily rewarding to see that after helping guide them for a week of focusing in a way that we do on a reboot, how different people feel. And I was just thinking of how joyful I feel as I'm sitting in the kitchen and I'm thinking how joyful I feel as I'm able to share my wisdom and share my experience of life. So if you are one of those people that are all about natural medicine, so what happens a lot of times is I meet people in my work as a medical intuitive that are anti-Western medicine. They've had bad experiences. They feel like Western medicine just keeps shoving prescriptions their way without any kind of information or support beyond that, kind of covering up problems. Yet, there's a gap. So they have this feeling, they say they're interested in holistic alternative care, but they haven't created that bridge between the gap of self-love and self-care. So for me, that's the best thing about a reboot is the commitment to self-care. It's not about doing it perfectly. It's not about feeling like we need to do everything in a way that is exactly on there, which again goes back into that perfect mentality. It's learning to do things at the level that we are with the type of schedule that we actually have. We're all in very different lifestyles and very different situations. So for me, for example, I work at home. I am able to cook for myself anytime I want. You might be someone that has two kids, you're waking up at six, you're not really sleeping well throughout the night, and you're hearing this video and you start to feel almost resentful because here I am focusing on la 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 la, and here you are pulling your hair out, not even having time to think. So the next statement might really piss you off. For the body, that bridge of self-care we're talking about, it's critical that we learn how to be able to integrate four to six servings of vegetables every single day in our diet. Some of you are gonna say, I'm done, I can't do that, click. If you think you're gonna click it, let's not click it and keep listening. So this isn't about perfection when we take care of our body by any means. What it is is about feeling things out and looking for options and looking for opportunities. I can tell you from my own personal experience, once I truly commit to something, it's almost like this magic fairy dust pops up and shows me different opportunities and options that start to appear because I kind of put my focus and mind on and in something. So if you know right now in your life that you aren't really building that bridge too much, you're feeling kind of like, crappy, you're not physically feeling well, maybe you've tried doctors and you're just not feeling like they're really on the right wavelength, and you've heard food is medicine, self-care is medicine, self-love is healing, but you don't know how to build and create that, that bridge to that gap, number one, if you ever feel inspired, try out a reboot. Go to my website, try it out. It's a really cool experience with a really awesome community. Now, if that feels like that's way too much, that's way too much, no worries. I understand many years I have felt like that. And until I actually started participating in them myself, no matter even if after that I felt overwhelmed, I would still actually commit to them because I understood how important they were. If you're not in that place right now, that doesn't mean you're just good to go by yourself. Let's learn how to build that bridge. There's a gap. How do we connect that gap so that you can self heal, so that you can tune into yourself? And there is definitely a very important piece of the puzzle, which is consuming four to six vegetables every single day. This is not a joke. And you might think, oh my God, I'm not even doing that once a week. That's fine. I want you to understand though, if you are wanting to heal your body from the inside out, this is a non-negotiable commitment. 
It truly is. So if you're in a situation where you're saying, this doesn't work for me, meaning Western medicine, it's failed me, and I, I believe that there is an alternative thing and that food is medicine, I want you to be honest with yourself and look at your diet. Does your diet look like real medicine? So real medicine looks like whole foods. And one of the first things we look at is focusing on vegetables. So you might say, what kind of vegetables? Fresh vegetables. So we don't eat canned vegetables and consider that a healthy vegetable. Frozen is eh. Fresh vegetables is definitely where we're wanting to focus on. You might say, I, I don't know how to do that. So my first question as an audit is, how many vegetables are you consuming on a daily basis? It can be easy. It can be easily incorporated with what you're already doing. It's just what happens sometimes is when we're not already doing something and we're already overwhelmed in our life, the thought of doing something more, no matter how small or how big, just feels like too much. So if you happen to be in that situation where it's just feeling like too much, take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. So if you're not feeling awesome and you're not finding that doctors, medications, things like that are helpful or they have been helpful, but you want to figure out how to be able to introduce a different experience for yourself. The biggest thing I can tell you is be patient with yourself, but the bigger thing I can tell you is be committed. Small, consistent changes over time will be actually your answer. So the first number one commitment is focusing on more vegetables. Our goal as a general is four to six vegetables a day. What kind of vegetables? So we're looking at green vegetables. We're looking at green beans, spinach, kale, chard, romaine lettuce, sprouts, green beans, broccoli, cabbage, anything the color of green. That's what we're looking to really truly focus on. I'm not saying you can't have other vegetables as well, but the goal is to get four to six servings of actual green vegetables. I am a huge fan of doing half raw and half cooked to start. And if you tell me, oh, I can't eat vegetables, most likely you can eat vegetables, but there's two things you oftentimes will have to eat them slowly and you might need to chew really, really well and you might need to stay focused maybe on the cooked to start. A lot of people, because their body's gotten so toxic, can't actually eat raw vegetables. And a lot of people that are raw foodists and a lot of holistic practitioners out there will comment or they're gonna share things where they don't actually believe that. I've been a medical intuitive for 32 years and there's not one person and one rule that I have seen that will work for everyone across the board. So four to six as a guideline is a great call. If you're not eating anything, see how you can focus on one serving a vegetable every other day. How can you incorporate more consistent vegetables? It's a really important key to our healing. It makes our bowels function. It helps our body stay in a healthy pH level so we don't feel so acidic. When we feel acidic, we get halitosis, bad breath. We get lots of gas. We get lots of irritation in our gut. We can get all kinds of problems actually, just basically from not having enough proper green vegetables and green support. So some of you will say, well, I'm taking this green powder that doesn't take the place of healthy, balanced food. Anything you're taking in a container is the equivalent of a medication. And I want to say that again, anything you're taking in a container is a medication. So food is medicine when you're wanting to heal your body long term. Now, maybe you don't have anything going on in your body that you have to heal. That's the whole key of preventative medicine. The goal is that you stay healthy and vibrant your entire life. Is that possible? Absolutely. But your dietary habits and your lifestyle habits are what are going to either create that or not. 150%. So as you allow yourself to focus, give yourself a personal audit, no self-judgment, no self-hatred. How many vegetables do you currently eat that are green per day? Commit to eating more. One serving more, two servings more. My personality would used to be like, okay, I'm doing six servings a day, but I've been eating nothing. And what I would do for two or three weeks is eat six servings a day. And then next thing you know, it would be months and I wouldn't have any more vegetables. Consistent small changes are what are gonna get you long-term healthy results, always. If you're curious about the reboot that I'm talking about, 
Click below, connect into the website, get the information about it, just to dip your toe in it, just to explore. But the biggest thing is, don't tell yourself, I can't do it. You can do anything you choose to commit to with small, consistent changes. There's no rush in the healing process. Small, consistent changes. Next week on here, I'm gonna talk about how you can incorporate easily small, consistent amounts of vegetables into your diet in a way where oftentimes, if you're not somebody that's gotten used to the taste or the texture of vegetables, that you can actually integrate them quite easily. And you might think there's no way. Well, there's no way if you're gonna have that attitude, but if you try new things, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Again, I've been doing my work as a medical intuitive for 32 years, and I've taught pretty much everyone I know how to incorporate vegetables into their diet. It's a matter of if they choose to do it or not. So it's a choice, and with choice comes commitment. Commitment comes choice. You deserve to feel amazing and healthy in your body. It's time to learn how to integrate healthy habits so that you can feel healthy and vital for the rest of your life.